Oh, uh, hey, uh, yeah. So anyway, so Billy and I are talking about doing a um, a uh, uh, zombie apocalypse uh, with a um, a mall Santa, a drunken alcoholic mall Santa. Oh, sold for it. I'm all for that. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. And then otherwise, this is probably pretty big news, so you guys will probably get off on this. Uh, last Friday, I was uh, on set, and I would guess that they spent probably a million dollars doing a commercial that has a tie-in to Godzilla. Ooh. The new one? They had all of – they had uh, – uh, I don't remember which street it was, but it was all shut down between 5th and 6th downtown. Yeah, they shoot there. Oh yeah, you know, I, okay, they I think I remember there. that. Uh, yeah, it was huge. I, I, I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a uh, million dollars. Wow. That they had in this commercial. I mean, because they had pyrotechnics and everything, and um, it ties in with the movie Godzilla's in the commercial, and so. Fantastic. Nice. That's kicking. Nice. Yeah, so that was a big. Yeah, that was big. That was digital dogs. I don't know if you ever see those guys. They're they're like the biggest commercial. Uh, casting agency and it was huge and there and there were names in there auditioning and everything so it was really a big deal you know my agency's like oh you know that's, you're that's you're good. really shit now so so that was pretty big um, so, uh, do you have any other projects uh, anything else you want to like uh, highlight um, any other upcomers that we should be aware of I, mean, I know you got at least three other different projects in post right now you got that fury movie club oh yeah 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 fury yeah yeah you you can yeah you could probably cut those guys are on the east coast though uh that's uh well that's been in post matter of fact i just did some um excuse me don't die on us no 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 i'm not i'm just trying not to blow a booger on you um <laughs> Uh, we'll save that for the highlight reel. Yeah, that'll be the yeah, yeah, that, uh, yeah, it's got. Um, they brought in Kane Hodder and uh, oh. R. A. Mahaloff and. Um, Kane Hodder, huh? Man, he's a he's a pretty big name. Yeah, yeah, they just brought him in for like a cameo. Um, and Circus is in that movie. Circus went in and did a cameo. Um, but uh, uh, they just, I just like last week. I just did some. Uh, uh, M- uh, not MOS, ADR for them. So, oh, nice. We'll see. Yeah, it's, I mean, but it, it, there's some pretty cool shit in that movie. There's a lot of strippers in that movie, too, and just uh, um, graphic violence. That's and, uh, yeah, it's a detective story. It's a pulpish, cartoonish, it's kind of like Sin City, only it centers around this detective, you know. And uh, who's a cocaine addict and an alcoholic and smokes. And it's not not me. I'm just an, an alcoholic and a cigarette addict. Oh. But he's, he's constantly snorting. And so so that, anyway. that drops uh, that drops looks like uh, October of this year. I hope. I mean, it's been in post for a long for a long time. See, we originally started shooting that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Gosh, it must have been two years ago in uh, Florida. And then last year I went back for, um, you know, to do some pickup shots. In, uh, and we were shooting in Rhode Island. <laughs> but there, I, the, the stuff I've seen, the trailers I've seen are pretty cool. Yeah, uh, we've, good, um, we're pretty stoked on it. I mean, uh, this is one of those things uh it sucks having to wait, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, I'm sure they're even... Uh, yeah, if you want, I can give you Kevin's number and everything. I'm sure he'd be happy to come on and tell you all about it. And Kevin maybe McCarthy? Still... I'm sorry? Kevin McCarthy, the director? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. cool. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so there's that, and then there's a movie called Ditch with Bill Oberst that's... Um, I play a rotten cop in that, and Bill's uh, um, a um, an axe murderer uh, searching for revenge, and you know, oh, slasher oh. type thing. And uh, some kid gets banged in the ass with a chick with a strap on. So there's always that. Okay. But other than that, yeah, yeah. There's, I think it's not as not as quite as demented as uh, <laughs> Circus of the Dead, where Oberus. I don't even know if I can discuss it. I probably shouldn't. Just, but he, hey, I mean, we don't want you to give away anything that'll get you in trouble. No, yeah, I probably wouldn't, but because uh, I think they were actually proud of it. <laughs> well, now you got to tell us, man. You can't leave Yeah, it. okay, over a saws this girl's <laughs> head off, sews a vagina onto her neck, and then fornicates with it. 
<laughs> and he was telling me, he was like, Brad, do you realize, did you, do you realize this is going to be seen? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. It's like human centipede seen, Bill. I mean. I don't know. I think that might have human centipede topped, man. Yeah, that's, that's. That's. How do you even think I, I of that? I don't, what, what? How does your mind get to that place? Where? Uh, uh, yeah, but, well, uh, Bill, P- <laughs> Billy Pawn, yeah, you should interview that guy. I'm sure he, well, he's been interviewed by, like, everybody, like, Dead Central, Dread Central, or all that stuff, and uh, <laughs> things like that. And <laughs> apparently both Billy, Billy Pawn and Oberst, Bill Oberst, were very proud of the fact that uh, Bill fornicates with uh, the trunk of a, uh, the neck of a, of a decapitated girl with vagina. <laughs> I think, um, I mean, you yeah. know, that's not something that I would write home to my parents about, but well, it, well, that's an achievement. Uh, it's I mean, it's not, I mean, how many guys can say that? Exactly. I think I, that's the point. That Only is, That is a, a conversation starter. I don't know what conversation it's going to go into, but it will start a conversation. <laughs> yeah. So you'll never guess what I did. <laughs> How was your Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see what else is going. Oh, uh, I helped out a buddy of mine. Uh, you might want to talk to him, Paul Sampson, um, Knight of the Templar. Have you seen that? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. I mean, he's a, I mean, I'm, I'm sure he, well, he used to be a really good buddy of mine before I transferred gyms. And now, I mean, he's hard to get a hold of sometimes. But um, I met him after I moved out here and after he'd finished filming. But he asked me to do some voiceover work for for him for his thing. I was like, sure, whatever. And then that came out, and I didn't realize. I was looking at the – it had Norman Reedus in it before he was real famous. Oh, no yeah. shit. That's huge. Yeah, yeah, and it's, it was the last film that David Carradine did. Wow. wow. <laughs> and it's got uh, Udo Kier and uh, Billy Drago in it, too. Wow, that's big. Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and so, I, I you know, and, he, and the next day I get on IMDb and my name's up there. I was like, well, that's real nice of you. So anyway, so he's he's uh, trying to get it's it's out of production. All right, all right, cool. Fun. Yeah, yeah, it's out on DVD and also they're on Amazon and everything. So I'm sure I was getting a, uh, a Toyota Prius when I, you know, this is like a couple of years ago. It's, but anyways, uh, he didn't have a car, so I was gonna, you know donate my car to, I don't know, cars for kids or whatever, but he wanted, you know, so I'm like, okay, here, I'll tell you what, dude, I'll give it to you. It was a uh, Honda Accord. It was a good car. And, uh, real quick, hold on. Of, of all the things I can imagine you driving, a Toyota Prius is at the bottom of the list. Can you fit in a Prius? You are a stacked dude. I mean, like, <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see what I'm driving now. <laughs> But anyway, so the Prius was, uh, yeah, it was, but I mean, it got 40 miles to the gallon. I mean. I'm just saying, like, in dude. terms of, like, manly men, I mean, you look like you could snap me in half, and I'm fucking <laughs> 6'2", 260 pounds. So just the, the image of you driving a Prius is like, if you cough, you're going to snap the steering wheel off. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you know, for it's all about uh, longevity out here, right? It's about survival. It's Spartan yeah. attitude. <laughs> I know Better, I'm calling like, in the event of a zombie apocalypse. Exactly. That's for damn sure. Exactly. Shit, man. Well, look, it's been a fucking dream talking to you. you got anything- nah, it's been my pleasure. You got anything else you want to touch on before we wrap this up? I'm trying to think of anything I left out of it. You know, you got touched on Fury. We got um, uh, um, Ditch Day Massacre. We've got Happy Ending. We've got uh, Billy Pond's movie. Uh, uh, Club uh, Dead. Oh, Club Dead. Yep. Uh, believe it or not, um, I play a vampire slayer. A Van Helsing guy had a had a beard. Oh, I know. And the writer that. and the right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's. I mean, it, unfortunately or fortunately, it's probably the cleanest thing I've ever read in my life. I mean, it's. I mean, it's like could almost be on family television except for the brutality. But there's no nudity. Wow, that's a little and, bit out of character for you. Yeah, well, uh, the guy that wrote it was Stephen Langsford, and he's a friend of mine. He's the creator of Urkel. Remember that show, Urkel? Really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wrote like a like some, and that's about what uh, <laughs> I think Urkel was his uh, was his alter ego because he's really introverted. He's a big guy. He's probably, I mean, you know, he's 
He's at least six two, maybe six three, and probably you know two seventy. Oh wow! And uh, and uh, and he's like he's like he, he, he just uh, wallflower, right? Mm-hmm. But anyway, he wrote this, and it's really well written. Um, it's about uh, Club Dead, and it's about it's kind of weird though, you know, because it's a, you know the guy he writes all the lead characters except except for the vampire slayers. They're all these vampires. And they're all black, and all the vampire slayers are white. And I'm like, uh, is this going to work? You know, <laughs> anyways, but I'm like, oh, well, it's your story. You wrote it, so I don't. But anyways, and there are some really hotties in there, but. Yeah, I was just looking at the cast list, man. That looks like a lot of fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the girl that Carolyn Giambe, who plays Madam, is, uh, she's an actual, her mother was Romanian. Her father was from Africa. Oh, wow. And, and she has a horrible, re- uh, a real thick Romanian accent. She's like, I want to get rid of this accent. I'm like, why? And she's like, no, I want to play American. I'm like, she was really cool. I can't tell how old she was. You know, she was really hot, but she didn't really, I don't know. She didn't really pay too much attention to me. And then the young girl, the girl that plays uh, the her replacement, Hope, this chick was, I mean, just strikingly flawless. She looks like that. Remember that uh, 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 Walt Disney movie, The Frog or something, The Princess? The frog? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's exactly who she looks like in person, you know. So, oh, so yeah, she was really beautiful. And then, um, you know, we try and rescue her, and it's uh, it, it's very tastefully done. And um, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I'm sorry I forgot about that. But anyway, so that should be. Uh, we touched on all your projects, um, talked about uh, previous work. I mean, you got anything else, man? Uh, let's see. Godzilla commercial, I mentioned that. Yeah, I beat all the names out for that. <laughs> but uh, uh, let's see. Nope, I think that about covers it. I'm doing okay. some favors for a buddy of mine who, uh, his name's Kevin Yancey, who he looks like kind of, he kind of actually does look like uh Urkel all grown up. He's about my age, mm-hmm. but uh, he, he, he's going to, um, he's in film school right now. So I'm doing a bunch of projects for him, That's which uh, I guess is a good thing. <laughs> he writes a lot of, uh, um, excuse me, uh, twilight zone type stuff. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, Very cool. Yeah. Which is <laughs> twilight zone is <laughs> matter of fact, they turned Oberst onto that when we, um, uh, because we're shooting at night and everything. And, uh, I tried to, we, uh, we watched, um, oh, and when the sky was open, the one with, uh, Rod Taylor, I'm a big, big, big twilight zone outer limits kind of guy. I was going to say, you uh, it seemed like you got your, uh, your trivia down pretty well. Oh, that, yes, yes, yes. Every, every new year's Eve, you know, you can tune into, uh, uh, the sci-fi network and watch, or we will, or, uh, and watch all those, uh, the whole thing. Right. They run right. all the episodes and everything. I was raised on it, man. That's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's one of the things that turned me into what I am today. Yep. All right. Mike. So, um, yeah, I think I think we covered everything, man. Yeah, I think, I think, we're, we've, I think we've, we got more. I, fuck, I could talk to you for hours, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be happy to. This is this has been an absolute joy, man. Um, oh no, no, it's a pleasure, and I really appreciate the write up you guys gave me and everything. And um, let me know, and I'll reach out to those other people. We will, like, we, we will absolutely hit you up for that. that. All right, so uh, just to wrap this up, um, this has been Hardly Hooched talking with the Mad Brad Potts, um, discussing future projects. Uh, give us a follow on Twitter, and stay tuned for future updates. Thanks again, Brad. Thanks again. Oh, thank you, guys. All right, cheers. Cheers.